it turns out this whole electric vehicle thing, yeah, it's, it's here to stay. The most recent example is the GXE all-electric Corvette from Genovation. Building off the body of the Z06 model Corvette, which featured a reported top speed of around 200 miles an hour, the folks at Genovation stripped out the internal combustion engine in favor of a liquid-cooled, dual 250 kilowatt electric engine propulsion system that cranks out over 600 horsepower and 570 foot-pounds of torque. This is in contrast to the Z06's original specs of about 505 horsepower. And just for comparison, the Chevy Volt comes in at about 150 horsepower. Maryland-based Genovation positions themselves as a green car company. They want to combine lighter weight and more aerodynamically designed cars with hybrid electric technology to create cars that are safer and more environmentally sustainable. Back in February, the company established a then world record top speed for a street legal all electric car, hitting 186.8 miles per hour with a GXE. Afterwards, Genovation CEO Andrew Saul was quoted as saying, we think the car is capable of breaking 200 miles per hour. So the Genovation team tweaked the vehicle's six-speed manual transmission, improved the weight distribution to realize a lower center of gravity, and optimized the collaborative workings of the battery, twin inverters, and motors. On July 28th, the company took to Space Florida's shuttle landing facility at the Kennedy Space Center. There, piloted by Johnny Bomer and certified by the International Mile Racing Association, Genovation's GXE Corvette set a new land speed record for a street legal all electric vehicle by hitting 205.6 miles per hour. Future plans for Genovation now include building and selling similarly modified cars to enthusiasts by transplanting their dual motor electric powertrain into traditional gasoline powered vehicles at about $300,000 a shot. Gotta love that green technology. I'm Jeff Ranke and this is IAN Now.